<laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is just before sunrise, and I got a call earlier this week. A group of us are getting together to just go have some fun in the backcountry here in Utah. Let's see who shows up. Going to go meet up with them in Huntington, and uh, sun's coming up, so I'm going to get on the road. I'm going to get a uh, relaxation video started for you, too. flying boom all right today we're gonna do a poker run super fun event uh adapted from motorcycles most likely or all terrain vehicles i think boats do it snowmobiles horses people even do it on foot on hikes which is pretty cool so what it is is you have five or you know between five and seven different checkpoints that you you check in at and today we're landing at all these epic locations and at each checkpoint we draw a playing card and the object is to have the best poker hand at the end of the run so at the end of the day we're all going to play our hand it's going to be really awesome it's you know all a game of chance but it's a good excuse to get together with the boys and have a great time so Let's go out and have a good time, yeah. I am uh, in the air, going really slow, indicating about 85 miles an hour. I'm at 10,500 feet. I've got this uh, new GoPro over my, uh, over my ear here. I'm going to try, and uh, I'm going to see if we like uh, different settings. Right now, it's on the uh, linear setting which is really interesting. Um, what, uh, what the linear setting does is, hey, how's it going, guys? Is it, it uh, allows you to, it zooms in a little bit, kind of crops the image, and it allows you to do what's called um, horizon leveling. And so if I roll the aircraft left to right like this, you see in this camera right here, and also out on the wing camera, the, uh, the aircraft is moving, but on this camera, I'm moving, and you can see the horizon through the window. So I don't know if I like the setting or not. We're going to check it out. It should be pretty fun. <laughs> I'm going to uh, check it out. So I'm not I'm not the leader, but I guess I started the email or the threat the thread on texting. Well, and thank you for that. And this is going to be great. Uh, we got a lot of planes. That's going to be our biggest issue: our ground handling and blasting gravel up on each other's planes. And just some of these trips, we might not have. We're going to just have to spread out. So let's just be really cognizant of not hanger rashing anybody's plane and not splashing up with dirt. No power turns with planes behind you. If planes are lined up on the side of the runway, come up and turn the opposite way to get next to them so you're not, don't come up and do a 270, come up and do a 90. It's kind of like the same thing as blowing people's tents over at Johnson Creek and Smiley Creek. So uh, safety, of course, I know most of you guys have done a lot of flying. The, there's nothing scary about any of these airports or strips that I've been to. The approach to Hidden Splendor is a little bit exciting the runway is not bad, just stay in the middle though because it's got a couple of culverts underneath it and you, so you don't want to go off the edge. But uh, if you haven't gone into Hidden Splendor, that, you're going you're gonna to go yes after you land there because you have to drop down into that canyon and you're in the rocks descending and it's, it's just a beautiful thing. And uh, every time I've done it, I just thought that is so cool. So the runways are great, the approach is not so much, but not bad for our equipment. In our skill set so we're gonna my plan and anybody can do anything they want 
My plan is to go hit up Cedar Mountain. It's up on the ridge over there. It's, I think it's 7,400 feet. And uh, the best way to approach that is just get up to the ridge, cross over the top, and then just go into a left downwind and come around and land uphill. Don't overrun this strip. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about a 1,400 foot drop off beyond it. Uh, but there's plenty of room at the top. If you land short, and I know we all practice landing short, you're going to have a long taxi to the top. But that's better than not landing short. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so that's Cedar Mountain, and it's just cool to look over the edge. If you need to make any phone calls, that's your place. The whole ridge is lined with microwave, towers, etc. Okay, from there, we'll, and if anybody wants to look at the map, here is, uh, where is Cedar Mountain? It's right here. So the next place we're going to go is Mexican Mountain. Okay. You can go direct, but what I recommend for the scenic tour is vector more over to the west and then follow the San Rafael River down. And that way you're going to see the upper black boxes. It's narrow canyons. Apparently it's good hiking and stuff. I haven't, I just need to camp there and go hiking. And now when you get to Mexican Mountain, you kind of have two choices. As you come up, you'll see the runway out ahead of you. You can either set up and go straight in. It's slightly downhill, but just barely. Or what I normally do is I just turn right and I make a big loop around Mexican Mountain and come back in once again on a left base to final. If you do that, hug the cliffs on the right to give you more turn, <coughs> to, to have a longer final and to get a nice stabilized approach and everything like that. And the parking there is kind of in the middle on both sides. So if you land short, just pull over and get out of the way. If you land long, uh, if somebody's right behind you, just go all the way to the end and then come back when you can. Um, just so we're not, you know, I get really nervous when there's still airplanes on the runway when I'm landing. And I'm, well, it's just communication, over-communicate, yeah. you know. So, yeah. so we'll be on, I'd say 128.0, but as we get close to these strips, say five miles or so, everybody switch to 22.9er because there could be other pilots out. I've been surprised how many people I've seen in the backcountry this year. Most of us can unusual. monitor both at the same time though, right? Yeah, oh yeah. It's got radios yeah, to do monitor that. Both. And so, so then uh, why don't we, since there's room at Mexican Mountain and it's a nice place, it's got the little San Rafael there and some trees. Let's talk about the next couple of strips there. Okay. Because I don't want people to be forgetting now. What did he say yeah. about this one? Okay, good call. So I hope everyone's got the waypoints. When do we fork up the money? And we'll fork up the money at the end, and we'll deal and we'll deal all the cards at the end. Do you trust me? No, you don't get a card if you don't fork out the okay. money, though. So that's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty easy. You just get one card. I, I, I'm. You get a card for each strip you landed in. Okay, cool. I'm a building contractor. I, I've had subcontractors <laughs> try to do everything to me. Believe me, <laughs> especially this glass guy I had years ago. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so off we go. Black. guys we are doing a poker run got a bunch of airplanes I'll introduce you to all the guys should be a lot of fun I'm coming in on a uh, final for Cedar Mountain Utah this uh, this has been on uh, several of my videos uh, the one that comes to mind that I'll put up in the cards up above is uh, camping with my son Riley up here at Cedar Mountain so check out that video check this out
All right, got the uh, first airport down, at least me. I'm the first one here. I just kind of wanted to film everybody's landings. Got Calvin Brubaker right up above. And you know, everybody's coming on in, so this is gonna be really awesome. Check this out. <laughs> this is what we call a poker run. And so in aviation terms, what you do is you land at a whole bunch of strips and with every strip you land at, you get a card. And then at the end of the day, you've got your hand. And uh, whether you're pay playing Texas Hold'em or whatever the case may be, I think we're probably gonna play like a five card stud. I'm not sh quite sure today, but uh, lots of fun. And you get to see all these iconic backcountry strips. So that is a lot of fun.
All right, guys, what a fun day so far. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here just for brevity. And so part two is going to come up. Now, this poker run is so much fun. I am having such a great time doing this. If you're interested in doing one and you want to post a video, go ahead and send me the link. I'd love to share it or better yet, invite me to come along. I had so much fun with it. And I'd love to join you on your journey and your adventure. We'll see you on the next one.